This game is definitely bittersweet, no question about it. Um, meaning that uh, I really appreciate and uh, the effort our team gave and and uh, we played extremely hard. Didn't play great, but didn't need to because we had great effort and we from everybody that, gave, that got in the game and they all contributed in a big way. But um, you know, unfortunately, that uh, our goal of the year to get to Nashville is not going to happen. And we're just again, you know, third year falling a game short, and uh, that's happened to us. And um, you know, I, I told, a, I did tell the basketball team after the game what happened, and I did, they didn't know anything about it before the game, and they don't need to. And um, but I, again, I, I appreciate our team's effort. I appreciate the, the way um, Trish and Jordan can go out with a great victory at the home court. Uh, Trish played uh, her kind of game that she's played all year long, stat wise. Uh, Jordan was really aggressive, and those two are special young girls. It, it really, truly does sad me uh, that they can't get to Nashville. It, it really does. I, I, I hurt for them uh, more than you can understand, and um, you know, especially you know Trish. Trish is a fifth-year senior, and just has never experienced that. What it, what it feels like to get an opportunity to go to the big dance, and and again, but I told Trish, and I honestly mean this. Uh, this is going to make her better and stronger in the real world, and because life's not fair sometimes, and you got to adapt and adjust. And she's going to do that. But um, it's great to get a, a win over Murray State. Um, it was great to get our sixth win that we haven't done since 2008 and nine. But um, you know, it's 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 a, it's hard. It's definitely tough. Right. You talked about knowing that you didn't make the tournament. Did you know before the game? I did. did I did. I, our staff knew and. And again, um, this is my job, and, and uh, I was, I, you know, going to coach the heck out of them, coach them up, and, and, and you know, call. I wasn't going to, you know, just you know, hang out, and, and uh, because I want it, I want that momentum going into the postseason. I want that victory. I hope and pray that this basketball team can learn from this game when you are focused and when you are determined, and you, and because things didn't go all the way, right, all the way. In the second half, we we went, I think, uh, 0 for 10 at one stretch. And our bench came in. I thought Bree Mitchell played great. I thought Olivia Hackman made some big shots. I thought Kenyatta did a couple nice things down low. Um, we got, you know, we, we got a, a typical foul by Trish on accident. She didn't mean to do it. Um, we could have very easily just said, you know what, it's not our year. Close the book and uh, we'll start over. But uh, you know, they kept on fighting. And I really give um, our football staff and our football team tremendous respect and, and credit for coming out tonight because I, I did tell. Um, uh, our team this. It would have been very easy during that stretch just to kind of say, you know what, man, this is tough. You know, we're down six, eight, I think we were at one point. Second half, they're, Murray's playing really well, but they kept on grinding. But the, the football team was tremendous. The best atmosphere that we've had here in my, in my short term, three years. Okay. You talked about being down there about four minutes into the second half, you were down nine, I think. What, you know, there was a media timeout right there. What did you maybe say to him that kind of... Yeah, what I, well, it wasn't really what I said. I just, you know, I, I kept on telling him, I guess the only thing I did tell him the whole game, I, I tried to keep my, kept my composure as well and just keep on saying, guys, just keep grinding, keep good shots, keep taking it, just keep working it, you're going to be fine. And I really thought just the substitution of uh, Bree and Kara, and I thought those guys came in and really gave us a spark. We started really spreading the court, and they're making good decisions. It wasn't like, you know, they just, they made, even if they missed, they were making the right plays, they're seeing the right people, and that gave them confidence after we made a few. So I think it just really, I thought Bree just took this game over. I, I mean, she's had three games in a row, and she's going to be a really special player. I'm really excited about Bree Mitchell. I'm excited about uh, Jasmine Robinson, our transfer from Alabama, to be on the court next year. We're, we're going to be fine. Um, we really are. Um, I want it quicker than maybe it's going to happen. Um, you know, really, we've had two recruiting classes. Um, next year will be our third. Um, so it's, it, I know it's not, it's a process. I know it's not going to happen overnight. But um, again, it's, I want it for the players so bad. And that, that's what hurts the most. I, we're going to get it. I just wish they could experience it. Because we're going to get the opportunity to experience success. Unfortunately, Trish and George not going to experience the postseason experience, you know, success. So I hate that for them. Okay, so what did you kind of tell your players after the game? You know, well, I, I told them, uh, you know, Aaron, you know me real well, and I, I was honest with them. I, I enjoy the game, um, but I said there is a, a, a bittersweet situation. I explained to them they were they were saddened by that. Um, I told them that I'm going to reevaluate myself. I'm going to reevaluate my staff. I'm going to reevaluate the training staff. I'm going to reevaluate the um, strength and conditioning. And we're going to get this thing on the right track. And uh, it's not all the track. It's just got to, we got to tweak a couple things. And uh, we got to be better at some things. And um, it's my responsibility. And I'm, I'm up for it. And I'm excited about it. And um, we're going to be better off for it. That's what I told you. Okay. Um, and then down the stretch, obviously making the comeback. Just what, well, obviously besides Bree and Olivia and Kara, some of those, 
What were the major, you know? I thought our defensive effort was tremendous on the stretch. I thought, uh, you know, I know number five on their team really tried to go the basket hard. I thought we made better defense without fouling. I thought we did, a, you know, Connor King had 12 rebounds. Trish Mack had 16. I thought we rebounded the basketball really well and in critical situations. You know, they're a very good shooting basketball team. They didn't shoot the basketball very well. They were three for 16 from three. So I thought we did a good job of taking away more of their inside game. We stopped fouling them as much. And uh, you know that's really what was the, the key. We made some good shots, but we really got some critical stops. But we were scoring, we were also getting stops, and that's what kind of took the lead from four to you know ten. Okay. All right, I appreciate everything, guys. Thanks, Thank Aaron. Thank you so much.